beekeeper system is designed to work with a drummer so that they control a computer-based system that's playing music. It's bringing back elements of feel and groove so that the computer responds to the drummer. It's listening out for events that the drummer's doing, kick drum events, snare events, and it's making tempo changes. One way that I like to think of this kind of problem is supposing you've got a car on a motorway and you're a motorbike trying to, say, catch up or stay up with them so you're level. If you're behind, you'll need to speed up a bit to catch that car and yet as you approach it, you'll have to slow back down again. So supposing you've got certain synth parts or pre-recorded parts that are integral to the music that you're doing and you want these to play live, then you can have this system play those parts while also having the other members of your band all play naturally and you don't have to worry so much about having the drummer listen to a click. It would isolate them wearing headphones and it also means you're at a very flat speed. So the excitement, I think, is taken out of the music if it's actually at a, a fully flat tempo. Playing with beekeepers is quite strange. You sort of build a relationship with it because it has, um, has a personality and it responds to, to me and it kind of gives me feedback. So um, it's very much a learning process and I've kind of had to you know, I can't do anything too radical with it, like I can't suddenly ch shift tempo, it won't understand, you know, just as a normal musician wouldn't understand that, you know. Um, so you have to sort of guide it through the process and it's a two-way communication. So it's quite interesting, it's got a personality and it's got like, you can feel its edges and, you know, interact with it, just as I say, like in any musician. The system works by having a window around the beat where it expects the beat to occur. This window constantly changes. It can be very narrow if you've got a really tight drummer, or it can widen out if it's more uncertain. And it's looking for the main events, the, the, the classically the, the kick on the one and the three and the snare is on the backbeat. It estimates really the level of certainty or accuracy that it's got and adjusts this window. Within that, if it finds a beat, then it adjusts the timing. If it's say 20 milliseconds early, it needs to win that back. So it speeds up a few milliseconds, say four or five, over the next four beats, say, and then you're back in sync. So it's constantly trying to match the speed and position that, that the drum is at. In this scenario, we've got a mic on the bass drum and on the snare drum, and they go through to the sound card, which is there. At the same time, a click that is the, uh, the sequencer's position, that is fed out to, through the sound card. So both of these things are coming in, the click from the computer and the kick and the snare from the drummer. And then we're making tempo adjustments to align those the best that we possibly can. One of the students here, Dave Meekin, has developed this uh, electromechanical glockenspiel um, as part of one of his projects. So today we've tried hooking up the two and seeing what happens together. Um, this means that effectively we can send messages and bring the glockenspiel into the performance just as we would uh, you know, a synthesizer or an audio track on the sequencer. The robot's timing is more humanised and it's different as it would be if we just set it at a metronomic pace. It's actually doing the same kind of response that a person would do if they listened to David. There are already robotic orchestras, however what would be unique about the implementation using the beekeeper software would be that it would be providing an organic robotic response that would give a really unique a human feel to a performance. It changes effectively the, the way that you can make a song. Instead of just having to have this flat tempo, you can bring in all sorts of technology and yet bring a feel back into it. As a drummer, I think you know you're always um, slightly frustrated because you, know, you know I love hitting things, but there's sort of a lack of you know melody here, and you know that that, that kind of you know, it's a classic kind of the drummer jokes are, are endless. Um, but with this, I've got you know I've got control, I've got a pad, so I I'm, I'm creating the arrangement as I play, and uh, and uh, if I get excited because you know 
because you know it's happening and there's a response from the audience and they're enjoying it and I'm enjoying it I can you know I can speed up and and all you know the machine or beekeeper goes with me so that's kind of that's quite exciting for me as a drummer you know it's uh, it opens up sort of new boundaries